What's up you guys and welcome back here on the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sasha and in today's video we'll be talking about three different Instagram post ideas to gain followers. So if that sounds interesting, let's get right into it. All right, before we start the video, I want to talk about something that is extremely important and that is the foundation to growing followers on Instagram is the value that you deliver. So if your Instagram post strategy is based all around posting selfies of yourself, uh, just photos of yourself, maybe on the street, whatever it might be, that could be problematic. And trust me on this because that's exactly what I've been doing for the past couple of years. So if you wanna become the next influencer, then just be aware that it can be extremely difficult to go down that route. And it doesn't have to be because if you know that the way you grow followers is by delivering value, then you can do that and still become the next influencer. So that is what I wanted to say right here, right off the bat. And now let's get into the actual post ideas. The first post idea is videos and also reels. As we all know, there are also videos. And the reason to why videos are so important and can work very well is because they're a lot longer. So the posting format is a lot more longer and longer form compared to a single image. People take more time to consume them and that's going to be rewarded by the Instagram algorithm because you are keeping people longer on the platform. But not only this, it's also again about the value that you're delivering. With a video, you can deliver much more value compressed into one single content piece compared to a single image. And if you take that into consideration, then it does make a lot of sense that Instagram is going to promote videos much more so than single images and that's why posting idea number one is all about videos if you can sneak in some videos here and there into your posting schedule you'll definitely see the rewards long term and the last thing I want to mention right here is that right now Instagram is actually working on monetization tools for IGTV videos so with that we can see that Instagram is paying attention to the trends they know that videos do perform better and the algorithm is programmed in a way to reward such content pieces that keep users on the platform as long as possible now to give you a quick example right here to how you can come up with videos videos in your posting schedule. You could, for example, create a tutorial. So if you wanna go down that influencer route, you could create a tutorial, for example, about your makeup routine or your outfits, how you can come up with great outfits, how you match colors, something like that where you're giving your audience a tutorial and delivering massive value through a video format. But it could also be a tutorial on how to do a certain exercise in the gym. So you gotta be creative with this one, but uh, you get the idea. So with the video format, you've got more room, more potential to deliver value and help somebody out or give them some inspiration, whatever it might be, and therefore increase the amount of eyeballs that content piece receives and therefore also growing more followers. Post idea number two are carousels, because again, very similar to videos, it's a lot longer of a content format and you're able to deliver much more value through a carousel compared to a single image. And what you can do right here to enhance the situation is you can take your single image that you wanted to post anyways and then just create a carousel out of it. So for example, you can post a selfie as the first picture so that this is the first picture that people are going to see, but then add more context to it, so more material. For example, how you came up with the outfit that people see in the first slide. And then you can explain that in the next slides of the carousel and add value to it. Yo everybody, quick disclaimer right here. If you wanna learn how to grow Instagram followers legitimately, then definitely go ahead and check out the first link down below in the video description, which brings you to my online course, which is definitely none of the typical BS kind of guru stuff that we all know, but rather all of my knowledge about Instagram combined from somebody who's actually done it full time. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, check out the first link down below in the video description. And with that being said, let's get right back into our video. Or you could use that same carousel to showcase your transformation to people. So the first slide is an older picture of yourself, then the next slide is a more recent one, and then the final slide is the most recent picture of yourself, showcasing the evolution of your style or something like that along those lines, where again, you're delivering value instead of only showcasing your outfit or uh, just posting a photo of yourself. And our post idea number three are guides. And guides are working in a very interesting way because unlike the first two ideas, guides are not designed in a way to create 
um, more exposure and reach more people outside of your already existing audience. So with a guide, if you post a guide, it's very unlikely to grab the attention from somebody that has never heard of you. With a video or a reel or a carousel, you can rank on the explore page, you can rank in the hashtags categories and therefore get more exposure and drive in eyeballs from people that have never heard about you, never seen content from you but with a guide that's different. But the reason I want to include it in here is because they can work very well to convert people that are visiting your profile based on the other content formats, the first two ideas, and then convert them into a follower. Because with a guide, what you can do is you can compress many, many content pieces and much value into that one single guide. For example, you can create a guide with your best arm exercises then in there people just click on the guide and they find all of your postings talking about the best arm exercises or it could be cooking recipes so you have a guide talking about your best vegan recipes so as you can see with a guide you can put in all of your knowledge all of the value into one spot talking about the same thing the same topic and therefore if somebody stumbles upon your profile because of a, another content piece and then see you also have guides where all of your your content is uh, compressed in there they're much more likely to follow you because there's a lot of value to gain from your profile and from following you but now with those three instagram post ideas covered let's talk about something that will help you to gain even more followers and come up with even better instagram post ideas in the future and that is paying attention to your instagram insights because in there if you didn't notice if you have a creator or a business account you can find a uh, table that shows you all of your postings based on reach. So you can go into there and filter all your postings by reach and Instagram will show you all of your postings based on which one has generated the most reach and then declining from there. So what I want you to do is pay attention to that graph or to that insights tab and then try to replicate the postings that have generated the most reach because obviously they're working best for you. They're the most successful in bringing in new people, new eyeballs, which is going to help you to grow followers. And then if you replicate them again and again in the future, this will help you to get even more reach, even more reach, even more exposure and also grow more followers. Now, even though I haven't been posting much on my Instagram account, I want to quickly showcase you how you can access this feature that we've been talking about. So you go to your profile and tap insights and then you will, when it loads, you go to content you shared, you click that little button right there, and then we'll showcase you all of the content you shared. For me, it's only stories for the last 14 days. You change this to last 30 days, um, and then you uh, let it set at reach, so you don't have to change that. This is by default somehow, and then it will show you your content based on reach. So again, for me, it's not a lot going on right here, not very interesting, but for your account, you should be seeing your Instagram postings right now, your stories and also your normal postings, videos, IGTVs, whatever you've been sharing in here and sorted by reach decreasing so you can see right off the bat which content pieces have been working best for you. And now you wanna go ahead and replicate them so that you can get more and more reach in the future going on from here and grow more followers. Now with that being said, you guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next video.